from the world famous London Palladium, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, celebrating its 40th anniversary, Miss World 1990. <laughs> Please welcome your host for the evening, Peter Marshall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I'd won there for a moment. Welcome to Miss World. 1990 and what a terrific feeling it is for me to tread the boards of what must be the most famous theater in the world well believe it or not all the big names in show business have played here and with that air of nostalgia in mind it's appropriate that we come here to celebrate 40 glamorous years of miss world now believe it or not it's my 11th year as compare hey 11 years and i've never got in the final 10. will you though please welcome someone who's celebrating her first year with us but with a secret, my co-presenter, a really warm welcome, she's special, Michelle Rocker. <laughs> oh. oh, what about that for a welcome? We better let them into the secret. First year as presenter, but not first year on Miss World. That's correct. Actually, it was the time I had the pleasure of meeting you, Peter. It was um, a few years ago. When you were Miss Ireland? I was, yes. And I didn't win then either, did I? Now, do you remember the year? The, I, when I was 12, Michelle, I think <laughs> it was something like that. Well, listen, uh, I think that you have certainly proved the point that being on Miss World helps with a career. You're very kind. Some people would say that right now I'm pursuing a successful career in broadcasting. You certainly are. I've, I've seen you appearing on, what, the Eurovision Song Contest? That's right. From Ireland. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful stuff. Michelle, it's terrific to have you aboard. It's lovely to be working with you. Thank you. Okie doke. Let's get on with the show itself. 81 glamorous girls representing their countries and competing for the most coveted award in international beauty, the Miss World Crown and the European Leisure Trophies that accompany it. Yes, and keeping with the tradition of one of the world's greatest theatres, we've got not one, but two international artists for you to meet. Richard Clayderman and Jason Donovan. Oh. <laughs> well... I thought that would keep the neighbours happy. And they're all here. Yes, we'll be seeing Jason later. Well, Norway played host this year, and we also thought we'd do something different. To help in the choice of our continental queens of beauty, we thought we would group our girls into their respective continents. So will you now please welcome the 1990 Miss World contestants as they introduce themselves, starting with the girls from Africa, Asia, and Oceania.
Hello, my name is Daria al Bahari. I am a 20 year old student of tourism in Cairo. Hi, my name is Dela Tamaklu. I'm 23 years of age and I'm a model. I live in Accra. Hello, I'm Aisha Liebig, 19 years old. I come from Embu and study hotel management. Manautuko, I am Elis Raza from Tananarif, 20 year old and student. Hello, I am Audrey Pichon. I am 23 years old. I work in a bank and I live in Bobata. Hello, my name is Rina Lindenberg and I'm from Windhoek. I'm an Asian and I'm 22 years old. Hello, my name is Sabina Ome. I am 21 years old and a promotions manager with a leading cosmetic company in Lagos. Hello, my name is Karina Brown. I live in Sydney. I'm 19 years old and I'm studying tourism and Japanese. Kiorana, I'm Angelo Manarangi, I'm 23 and an accountant from Rarotonga. Half a day, I'm Mary Esteban and I'm a 22 year old graduate from the University of Guam. I reside in the village of Derido. Hello, Lena Goeho. My name is Elaine Da Silva. I'm 18 years old. I'm an actress. I live on Collins Side. Namaste. My name is Navida Mehdi. I'm an 18 year old student studying psychology and computers in Bombay. Konbanwa, I'm Tomoko Irasaki. I'm 20 years old and training golfer from Shizuoka. Annyeonghaseyo, I'm Ko Hyun Jung. I'm 19 years old and student from Seoul. Hi, my name is Alexandra Minch. I am 19 years old. I come from Macau. I'm working in public relations. Kia ora, I'm Adele Kinney. I'm 17 and a full-time fashion model from Marlborough. Hi there, my name is Nelly Ben. I am 23 year old. I'm from Manus and I am an executive secretary. Hi, I'm Antoinette Elizaldi Ballesteros. I'm from Manila. I'm 23 years old and I'm a fashion model. Hello, my name is Karen Francis Ng. I am a 17 year old business student and I come from the beautiful island city, Singapore. Hi everyone, I'm Angela Gunasekara. I'm 23 years old, a flight attendant from Colombo. I'm Panida Amsaad. I'm 19 years old. I study public relations in Bangkok. Thank you. Well, you've now met the first 21 contestants in Miss World 1990. Yes, but 60 yet to come, and it looked a bit chilly there in Norway. As you can see, we brought our ice palace with us. Now, later in the program, you'll be meeting the people who make all of the important decisions here, our judges. This year, in keeping with the international spirit of the competition, along with our main judging panel here at the Palladium, we have another judging panel, but they're in Norway. Let me explain. 15 judges in all, eight here, seven in Norway. The average marks of both judges will be added together. They will be displayed on your television screens during our swimwear section, and this will determine who will be our 10 Miss World semi-finalists. Then we wipe the slate clean. Those 10 girls start afresh, and the final position depends on the Norwegian marks which will be phoned to us at the end of the competition, to which, of course, we add the marks of our international panel here at the Palladium. Well, now back to our introductions. And still within their continent groupings, let's now meet the girls from the Americas and the Caribbean islands. Hola, my name is Romina Rosales. I'm 19 years old. I'm studying nutrition. I am living in Buenos Aires. Hi. Planning to pursue a career in tourism, I am Isela Zavane, a 20-year-old from the village of Independence. Hola, my name is Daniela Dominguez. I am 17. I am a student of communication and I live in Tarija. Hola, my name is Carla Ketkovsky. I'm a student from Curitiba, Brazil. I'm 20 years old. Hello, bonjour. I am Natasha Palawandram. I'm a 22-year-old student studying communication and psychology in Ottawa. Hola, my name is Isabel Jara. I'm 21 years old. I'm a student of fashion design in Santiago. Hola, my name is Angela Marino. I'm 19 years old. I study social communication. I am from Bogota. Hola, ¿qué tal? I am Andrea Murillo. I'm 20 years old. I'm a law and journalist student. I come from Heredia. Hola, my name is Marielena Enriquez. I come from El Salvador. 
I am a student. I'm 20 years old. Hello, my name is Maria del Rosario Perez. I am 25 years old. I am a medical doctor and I come from Guatemala. Hola, my name is Claudia Vendaña Macausland. I am 21 years old, studying law, and I come from Tegucigalpa. Hello, my name is Maria Mena. I'm 23 years old. I'm a teacher of classical ballet from Yucatan. Hola, my name is Madeleine Leignadier. I'm a 20 year old student, and I'm from Panama City. Hola, my name is Alba Maria Cordero Rivas. I am from Asuncion. I am 21 years old. I am studying chemistry. Hello, my name is Giselle Martinez. I am 21 years old. I come from Lima. I'm graphic designer and modeling. Hello, my name is Magdalena Pavon. I am 23 years old. I'm a graduate of psychology and I come from San Juan. Hello, I'm Gina Tolleson, a 21-year-old student and model from South Carolina. Hola, I'm Carolina Casalia from Montevideo. I'm 19 years old and I'm studying architecture. Hola, my name is Sharon Luengo. I am 19 years old. I study engineering. I am from Maracaibo. Hello, my name is Kima Akintobi. I'm 17-year-old college student from St. Thomas. Contabai, I'm Gwendolyn Kudama. I'm a 20-year-old secretary and I'm from St. Nicholas. Hi, my name is Lisa Strong and I am a 19-year-old journalist from the capital city, Nassau. Hey, I'm Shaw Brewster and I'm 22 years old. I'm a bank teller and I'm from the parish of St. Philip. Hello, my name is Suzanne Spencer and I'm a 22-year-old assistant marketing director. I'm from the island of Tortola. Hi, I am Bethia Christian and I'm 17 years of age. Currently, I'm employed with the Department of Tourism in Grand Cayman. Contabai. I'm Jacqueline Krijger. I'm 23 years old and I do public relations in Willemstad. Hola, my name is Brenda Marte. I'm 21 years old and study marketing in Santo Domingo. Hi, my name is Erica Carr. I'm 20 years old and I'm a fashion model from Kingston. Hello, I am Guanabara Carlson. I'm 22 years old. I'm a flight attendant and I live in Port of Spain. Well, by now, I'm sure you're starting to make your decisions, but don't be too hasty, as we've still got lots of girls for you to meet. Yes, and to clarify the marks for each girl, we've enlisted the help of our computer here in London, which will flash onto your screens the marks of our judging panels. Of course, both panels have had a chance to chat to the girls at length and have made an initial assessment of charm, dress, and, of course, personality. But for now, it's on with the show as we fly back to Norway to meet some more of the contestants. And it's time now to meet the girls representing the European countries. Hello, my name is Karina Friberger. I'm from Altenberg. I'm 20 years old and I'm studying languages at the University of Vienna. Hello, I'm Katja Arnolds. I'm living in Antwerp and I'm a 23 years old model. Hello, my name is Yuleta Galabova. I'm an 18 years old student from Sofia. Hello, my name is Emily Grudido. I'm 18 years old. I'm coming from Nicosia and I'm studying restoration of paintings in Italy. Hello, I'm Andra Roskovtseva from Beneshov. I'm studying at the High School of Agriculture and I'm 19 years old. Hi. My name is Charlotte Christensen. I'm 23 years old and I work as a model in Copenhagen. Moi, I'm Nina Bjergfeldt and I'm 22 years old. I'm a student and I'm studying Russian language. I live in Turku. Bonjour, I'm Gael Vary and I'm 21 years old. I'm studying publication in Lyon. Hello, my name is Christiane Stöcker. I'm 23 years old, I'm a student and I come from Darmstadt. Hi, my name is Sarah Yates and I'm 18 years old from Gibraltar and I'm a theatre student. Yes, yes, my name is Sofia Lafkioti. I'm 19 years old. I study marketing. I come from Athens. Hello, my name is Gabriele Stop. I'm 21 years old. I'm a student and I live in The Hague. Sia, my name is Kinga Tuto and I am from Budapest. I am studying languages and I am 20 years old. Hello, my name is Asta Siri Einarsdóttir and I'm a 19-year-old student from Garðabær. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Siobhan McCafferty. I am 20 years old. I am an aerostessa model and I come from Dublin. Hello, I'm Ariella Tesla. I live next to Tel Aviv. I'm going to learn journalism and I'm 18 years old. Ciao, I'm Cristina Gavagnin. I'm 19 year old dental student from Trieste. Good evening. My name is Velga Brajnevica. I am 23 years old and I am a student from Riga. Moen, my name is Pea Arcinska. I'm 18 years old. I'm a student and I come from the city of Luxembourg. Hello, my name is Karen Demikoli. I am 18 years old. I am a computer clerk and I come from day two. Hi, I'm Ingeborg Kolset. I'm 20 years old. I'm a receptionist and I come from Hundorp. Dzień dobry Państwu. My name is Eva Szymczak. I am 23. I am student. I live in Łódź. Hola, I'm Filomena Marx. Uh, I'm 22 years old and I come from Lisbon. Uh, and I'm studying engineering. Hello, my name is Mikaela Reescu. I'm 22 years old. I'm a medical student and I come from Krajowa. Hola, my name is Carmen Carrasco. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Madrid. Hey, my name is Daniela Almen. I'm 19 years old, coming from Vestros and working as a fashion model. Hello, I'm Priscilla Langruber from Baal. I'm 20 years old and I'm studying law. Merhaba, I'm Julie De Ateş. I'm a 19 year old English language student from Istanbul. Hi everyone, my name is Helen Upton, I'm 19 years old and I'm a model from Birmingham. Dobry ding, I'm coming from Moscow. My name is Lama Zemzare, I'm 19 years old and I'm working as a photo model. Dobry dan, I'm Ivona Brnelic from Rijeka. I'm 18 and I'm a student of economy. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have the personal profiles of this year's Miss World contestants. Now, as they go and slip into their swimwear, for the judges, a very difficult task. They now have to select just 10 semi-finalists. Well, as you can see by our set, we've brought a little bit of the atmosphere of modern Norway back with us. But that's not all we've brought back, because while we were there, we were joined by Richard Clayderman, and he'll be entertaining us later on. I can tell you our girls really took Norway by storm. From a brass band welcome at the airport, they were whisked off on sightseeing. Then it was judging by the Norwegian panel. And finally, a cabaret evening when they were entertained by one of the top groups over there, Smokey. Show me. 
Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. I tell you, it was exciting. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. It was exciting in Norway, and you've now met the Scandinavian panel of judges. Let's now meet, though, the people who will be making the decision here in London, our panel of judges. We start with judge number one, international entrepreneur, Mr. Krish Nadu. From Models One, will you please welcome Josie Fonseca. Next chairman of our main sponsor, European Leisure, Michael Ward. She was Miss World 1980 from Guam, Kim Hill. Chairman of our judging panel, of course, Eric Morley. Miss World 1975 from Puerto Rico, of course, it's now Mrs. Wilnelia Forsyth. Our seventh judge is Sir Ralph Halpern. And judge number eight from Walters International, Mr. Ron Brandt. Those then are our panel of judges here this evening. Well, now on to our girls in swimwear. But don't forget, only the 10 highest scoring girls will be going through to the semi finals. The marks awarded by our judges to date will be appearing on your television screens. So let's see now if you agree with our panel as we see all our girls together in swimwear.
sadly, that's the last chance you're going to have to see all of our beautiful girls together. They are absolutely lovely, and they've been terrific ambassadors for their respective countries. Now for the judges, the first major decision, a difficult decision, too. They have to whittle 81 down to just 10 semi-finalists. Must have been difficult. Extremely difficult. I think they're all beautiful and intelligent girls. I'm just only glad I'm not competing this year. <laughs> Well, Nelia, you've had experience of this end. Now you're finding the difficult end, too. Okie doke, I have the little list. Ten semi-finalists. Will you please welcome the first of them, Miss Holland. <laughs> Our second semi-finalist is Miss Turkey. Number three coming up, Miss Ireland. Fourth on my list is Miss Jamaica. And now the halfway stage with our fifth finalist, who is Miss Venezuela. Just five to go. Will you welcome our sixth finalist, Miss Finland? Next on my list, Miss New Zealand. to go, will you welcome the young lady from the United States of America? <laughs> Our penultimate semi-finalist is Miss Aruba. Just one place to be filled, that goes to Miss Poland. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the 10 Miss World semi-finalists. Oh. What can I say? Absol absolutely stunning. Now, at this stage of the proceedings, I can announce uh, one of our first continental queens of beauty. Africa's queen of beauty this evening goes to Miss Kenya. Well, a big thank you to all of our girls and special congratulations to our 10 semi-finalists, of course. Plenty more to come, though. We'll be back with you in a few minutes. Well, welcome back to Miss World 1990, where shortly the accent will be on conversation. Now, Michelle, you've been on the receiving end of this. Do the girls really dread the interviews? Well, to be very honest, Peter, it is quite nerve-wracking waiting back there, but sure, you'll be very nice to them, won't you? Of course I'll be nice to them, aren't I always? And where, where language problems are concerned, we've got you to call on, haven't we? Well, yes, I can help out. How many do you speak? I speak four. And? A little English. And a little English. You speak some Irish, too, don't you? Yes, I do. Omulangwelga gotha, Padraig. 
I'll have a double, now that you're asking. Thank you. <laughs> OK, let's get on and meet the 10 semi-finalists who are competing for that coveted crown. Let's greet once again Miss Holland, Miss Turkey, Miss Ireland. Well, Miss Ireland is 20 years of age, 5 feet 7, and she's an air stewardess. And Miss Turkey, 19, is 5 feet 7. And Miss Holland, 21, 5 feet 10, she's a student. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Miss Jamaica, Miss Venezuela, Miss Finland. Miss Finland is 22, 5 feet 6, she's a student. Miss Venezuela, 19 years of age, is a dance teacher. And Miss Jamaica, 20 years old, is 5 feet 9 and a model. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And let's greet Miss New Zealand, Miss USA, Miss Aruba and Miss Poland. Miss Poland, 23 years of age, is 5 feet 8. She's a medical student. This is Miss USA, 21, 6 feet tall, also a student. Miss Aruba is 20 years of age, 5 feet 4. She works as a secretary at the moment. And Miss New Zealand, at 17 years of age, is 5 feet 10. And she is a student. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Well, while our girls are getting ready for their interviews, we're going to take another little trip back to Norway and relax now to the romantic sounds of Richard Clayderman playing Vivaldi.
Richard Clayderman there playing Vivaldi. Well, tonight will just be the start of a very busy year for the girl who will win that coveted crown. Now, part of her work during the year will be to help raise money for deprived and handicapped children. We're now going to meet someone who has helped to raise millions for children worldwide. Please now welcome Julia Morley, president of the Miss World organization. Julia. Julia, tell us how will Miss World help raise money for children? Well, um, Miss World plus a lot of the other contestants that you see tonight will be involved in fashion shows throughout the world. We're going to um, start off in Belize, that's our first serious job, and we're going all the way around the world for those that want us to do something positive, put something back in. So you're hoping to raise millions of pounds this year? Well, we'll certainly try our hardest. We need everybody else to help us. We can't do it alone. So you're proving the point, beauty with a purpose. That's yeah. right. Thank you, Julia. Well, now we're going to take a look and hear a little bit more about the work and the charity work of Julia and the Miss World organization. One of the proudest moments was when Her Royal Highness the Princess Anne opened the Variety Club Children's Hospital in King's College, London. We had sponsored the Mountbatten Ward in memory of the late Earl Mountbatten of Burma, who attended so many of our charity luncheons to receive the contestants' gifts, which were then auctioned. Millions of dollars have been raised in this way. Each year we make a point of visiting the hospital with contestants so they may see the results of their charitable efforts. The Variety Club of Great Britain makes over six million pounds annually. This year, in celebration of their 40th birthday, they are trying to raise an extra five million pounds to help six children's hospitals in the UK. One focal point of their fundraising is Benny the Bear. Every time Benny is sold or auctioned, money is raised to help Variety in its task. The Variety Club not only raises money to help children, it identifies with the children as well. Each year, Sunshine coaches take children for visits to the seaside, the zoo, and hundreds of other activities to brighten up their lives. This program is called Variety at Work, and again, as you can see, we're there. This is a Variety Club party where each contestant adopted a child for the day. Fortunately, nearly all the contestants speak English, but kindness has no language barriers. The gifts bought over by the contestants are auctioned or raffled at a Variety Club Miss World luncheon attended by many celebrities and business people. In most years the lunch has raised over $200,000 which is divided equally between Variety Club of Great Britain and the Variety Clubs International in New York for their Lifeline program. This program arranges major surgery for deprived children throughout the world. Operations normally costing $50,000 are performed for $5,000 as doctors donate their services for their contribution to Variety's cause. As a result of this lunch, many children's lives will be saved, and traditionally, in national costume, the contestants stand on their tables, wave a thank you and farewell to the very generous Variety Club members and guests for their magnificent support.
Oh, that was absolutely delightful, wasn't it? Well, now it's an opportunity for our judges, both in Norway and here, to get to know our semi-finalists a little better. Don't forget, they are trying to select just five finalists. So we start now with Miss Holland, and that's uh, Gabrielle over there. Gabrielle, you're a student, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm studying international management in well, Amsterdam. <laughs> what are you going to do whenever you finish your studies? I would like to run my own business, and I would like to go abroad. I love to go abroad in other countries. And I'm very interested in fashion. So you might go into the fashion business? Yes. Well, if, you're, if your dress is anything to go by, you should be a big success. Thank you very much indeed, Miss Holland. Thank you. Well, now, now we move on to uh, Miss Turkey. That's Julita, is that right? Yes, that's right. Did I right. pronounce it properly? Yes. Now, Julita, I know, I know you get involved in quite a lot of community work in Turkey, don't you? Yes. Uh, but the way I take this word, I think, is a little bit different because there is also pollution, some, lots of community problems in Turkey, pollution, and our teenagers, some of them, unfortunately, they are using drugs and etc. But uh, I think the base of the problem that we are losing uh, are uh, the feeling of love that we have inside. So I'm against materialism, and what I do is uh, I wa I'm telling to people that uh, money and materialism doesn't mean everything for all of us. You're absolutely right. Just Thank don't lose your feelings. <laughs> I think we got the message. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Turkey. Thank you. <laughs> On we move to Miss Ireland. Siobhan, you've got a very glamorous job, haven't you? Flying up there. Do you think so? <laughs> you're you're nurse, you're nurse. Of course, yeah. you travel the world. That's absolutely wonderful. Now, everybody seems to want to go to Ireland. Why do you think that is? Oh, well, have you got a half an hour? <laughs> um, well, Ireland is fantastic in a lot of ways. Um, the beach is so, there's so many different things about it. I'm fortunate enough to live right opposite the beach and uh, take great advantage of it. Um, and there's just a lot of things, and I love it. Right, right. the pubs are good too. Thank you, <laughs> Miss <great>. Ireland. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we move on now to Miss Jamaica. Erica, you've been in a movie. Yes, I have. I started a movie called The Mighty Quinn. I played the role as a bride, and I was fortunate enough to be in the same movie with Denzel Washington, who last year was awarded the award for Best Actor. Do you, do, you want to, do you want to star in movies? Is that the life you have planned for yourself? you want to be an actress? I would like to continue acting, yes, but that's not what I'd like to do for the rest of my life. I would definitely like next year to go back to school and study child psychology. Let me tell you, you've got a good screen test with us. Thank you, Mr. Maker. You're Thank welcome. you. Well, for Miss Venezuela, thankfully I've got Ingrid Rodis with me, because I don't speak any Spanish, my English isn't too good either. Ingrid, would you like to ask Miss Venezuela exactly what she wants to do and why? ¿Qué ambición tienes en la vida y por qué? Bueno, tengo de verdad muchas ambiciones en mi vida. Una de las más importantes es ser profesional. Yo estudio ingeniería industrial en mi país y de verdad eh, mi ambición es ser una buena profesional para así poder ayudar a mi país. Right. Um, An Angela has uh, an ambition to be a good professional. She studied industrial engineering and that's what she would like to do. She'd like to carry out the profession of industrial engineer in her own country and help her country. Aparte, uh, excuse me. Very laudable, Miss Venezuela. Thank you very much indeed. Okay. In fact, thank you all, our first five semi-finalists. Well, let's now give our girls a breather and return to the splendour of Norway. Well, the Miss World dancers really enjoy themselves, as you'll see. But watch out for their talented companions, who just happen to be the Miss World contestants.
Hey, weren't they great? And of course, that was our girls actually dancing with them. They were absolutely sensational. Back now to our, our semi-finalists, five more ladies. Over to Miss Finland, first of all, who's Nina Bjorgfeldt. I hope I pronounced that well, because I know that you're a student of what? Languages? Languages, yes. Why are you studying languages? Because um, I think they give me lots of possibilities to to conversate with people from the whole world. Actually, here I have been speaking six languages. That's nice. That's fantastic. Which is the most difficult to learn? Um, Russian. Really? Is English difficult? What? Is English, English very difficult? Mm, well, it's okay. <laughs> it's difficult for me, I can tell you. Nina, thank you very much indeed. Miss Finland, thank you. <laughs> Miss New Zealand is Adele Kenny, and Adele, you're a student. Yes, I am. I'm training to be a teacher at the moment. Now, whenever you say a teacher, of what age group? Early childhood education, which is from about from birth to about eight years old. Really? You think yes. that, that maybe it's worth looking at the learning processes that young? Oh, definitely. Early childhood education is the foundation of all education. We've run out of time. I haven't even had a chance to talk about your interest in touch rugby. Thank you very much indeed, Miss New Zealand. Thank you. <laughs> Well, from the United States of America, it's Gina Tolleson. G Gina, you want to go into broadcasting? Yes, I hope to have your job one day, Peter. Oh, thank you. Do the, audition, <laughs> do the audition while you're here. That's what I say. Gina, what sort of broadcasting? Light entertainment? News? What? No, actually, I would like to be an anchor. Hopefully, CNN. I'm based in the South, so CNN would be a great place for me to start. So it's news? Yes, definitely. A news anchor. Women have made terrific headway in that area, haven't oh, they, I recently? think so. It's very competitive, but women are great. Well, I think the height will help, definitely. Thank you very much indeed, Gina Tolleson. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> Miss Aruba certainly gets involved in a lot of community work. Hey, don't you, Gwendolyn? Yes, I do. Uh, right now, we have like two kids from uh, young teenagers that had kids, and uh, they don't take care of them, so we have them in our house taking care of us, like my two little sisters. Really? Yes. How long will you look after them for? Whenever they're ready to go I look for themselves. So they could stay with you until they grow up, until of they're course. adults? I love them. <laughs> they're like my two little sisters. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Miss thank Aruba, you. thank you. <laughs> now, once again, my Polish is not the best, as you probably know. But luckily, I've got Kirsten with me. Kirsten, will you please ask Eva what she's studying and why she's studying that? What are you studying and why are you this? Ich bin studiere Medizin. Ich habe in diesem Jahr studiere Medizin in Marie Curie Skłodowska Institut in Paris. Ich she's, she's a medical student. Um, she spent the last year studying medical medicine in the Marie Curie School in France. That's wonderful. We always could do with more doctors, couldn't we? Let's hear it for Miss Poland. Thank you very much indeed. Well. There we have our semi-finalists. You've, you've heard them all. Just one more chance to see our girls this time in evening wear before the judges select that final five. That'll be difficult. Well, the night is still young as we've yet to meet the girl who's had a truly magical year, the current Miss World. And of course, we have Jason Donovan. So stay with us and we'll be back with you in a few moments. Welcome back to the London Palladium, where the pressure, I can tell you, is most certainly on. Shortly, we'll introduce you to another continental queen of beauty, but, of course, one young lady amongst our semi-finalists will know very quickly whether she has or has not got the world at her feet. Who will be Miss World 1990? Well, our judges, both here and in Norway, are settling down now to try and choose their final five. So let's see the girls once more, this time in the choice of evening wear. Will you please greet our first semi-finalist? That is Miss Holland. Gabrielle is wearing a taffeta dress, which is white with blue, red, green and silver sequins. It has a tight bodice and a flared skirt. The straps are made of rhinestone. Gabrielle chose this dress because it shows the colours of the flag of Holland. Miss Holland. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Turkey. 
Chilayat is wearing silk chiffon, black and gold. It is embroidered to the hemline in gold applique and the train is also embroidered. Miss Turkey. Let's hear it for Miss Ireland. Siobhan is wearing a hand-beaded black velvet and silver brocade, fitted dress with long sleeves. It has a sweetheart neckline and a small train. Miss Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jamaica. Erica is wearing a white strapless lace gown with tailored bustier. It has a side split with a small train at the back. Fully beaded and sequenced, and Erica has accessorized it with detachable three-quarter length beaded lace sleeves. Miss Jamaica. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Venezuela. Sharon is wearing a white crepe de chine strapless dress. It is draped both back and front, and the back features a drape twisting into a two knotted band. Sheer elegance there. for Miss Venezuela. And now a very warm welcome for Miss Finland. Nina is wearing a white strapless dress, fitted to the hips and then full flowing. Nina told me she also wore this dress for Miss Finland and she hopes it will bring her luck tonight. Miss Finland. Will you now please greet Miss New Zealand? Adele has chosen red taffeta with a short bolero jacket. The bodice of her dress is patterned with sequins. And this is also the dress that Adele wore in the Miss New Zealand contest. Thank you, Miss New Zealand. And let's say hello again to Miss United States of America. Gina is wearing a long sleeveless straight dress with a chiffon stole across the shoulders and a chiffon train at the back. It also has a sweetheart neckline. The bodice and stole are patterned with crystals and silver beads. Thank you, Miss USA. Let's hear it for Miss Aruba. Gwendolyn is wearing a close-fitting white lace and satin dress. It is encrusted with sequins and pearls and accentuated at the back with a detached satin bustle. Miss Aruba. <laughs> and our last semi-finalist is Miss Poland. Ava is wearing a full-length silk crepe and ivory dress with a lovely train at the back. The waist has a silk sash meeting at the back and another smaller train. There are silk drape straps crossing over the front to the side.
Thank you, Miss Poland. And as we say thank you to Miss Poland, let's have all the ladies back on stage once more. Here they come. There we have all of our semi-finalists, aren't they absolutely lovely? Well, my scrutineer has handed me a little list. I feel a bit like the Lord High Executioner. I don't know why I get the difficult stuff. Of course, along with our five finalists, we will also be able to announce another Continental Queen of Beauty. But let's put the girls out of their misery. This is the important bit. Who is on my list? The first finalist this evening is Miss Finland. Second place in the final lineup goes to Miss Ireland. Yeah. Our third finalist is Miss New Zealand. Fourth place is Miss United States of America. And the last finalist place goes to Miss Venezuela. There, ladies and gentlemen, are the five finalists in Miss World 1990. <laughs> wow. Thank you, girls. Well, I did say that we could announce another Continental Queen of Beauty. I will do that right now. The Continental Queen of Beauty for the Caribbean is Miss Jamaica. <laughs> Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? All of them. OK, thank you, girls. Girls, will you please lead off? We'll say bye-bye for the moment. Bye-bye. Now, the moment many of our young ladies have been waiting for. Singing his latest single, I'm Doing Fine, <laughs> Mr. Jason Donovan.
Thank you, Jason. Big hit here with all the girls. Doing fine. He's definitely doing fine, isn't he? Another young lady who's done fine has her reign coming to an end in just a few seconds. She's a memorable year. Will you please give a memorable vote of thanks to Anita Kreglika, who, of course, is Miss World 1989. Let's hear it for her. When I returned to Poland after winning Miss World, I had several official receptions. And then on my way home to Gdańsk, I was welcomed by some lovely children and offered the traditional brand and salt. They also sang and one of them played guitar for me. I will never forget these few days when I came back to Poland. I didn't expect such a wonderful welcome home with so many people turning out. I really felt so proud to be Miss Word, but I didn't realize that the Polish people would feel the same. Well, now my year is over. I wish the new Miss Word the best of luck and every happiness. Thank you, Miss World 1989, Anita Kreglika. Now to present the awards on behalf of European Leisure, please welcome Julia Morley. Well, with 15 judges in all, let us now meet the man, of course, who is chairman of both panels. He is Mr. Eric Morley. Right, but first of all, thank you, Eric. We're off to uh, Norway to meet up with our Scandinavian panel there. They're in the Quality Ambassador Hotel in uh, Drammen. I hope I'm speaking to Ingeborg Sorensen. Can you hear me, Ingeborg? <coughs> Ingeborg, can we have your marks for our first finalist, please? Hello. Hello, can you hear Hello, me? Hello, London. Hello. This is a Norwegian jury located at the Quality Ambassador Hotel in Drammen. Right. And our choices are. Finland, seven points. Ireland, nine points. New <laughs> Zealand, seven points. United States, eight points. Venezuela, ten points. Thank you very much indeed, Ingrid, over there. Thank you, Thank very you. Much, over there in Norway. And good luck and all the best. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Well, that's the judging in from uh, Norway. Eric, how does that affect the overall position of our combined panels? Well, the combined panels have decided that the second runner-up, that's third place, is Miss Venezuela. First runner-up and Europe's Queen of Beauty is Miss Ireland. From 81 down to 10, down to 5, the question is, who will be Miss World 1990? I don't know, but Eric Morley does. And Miss World 1990 is... Miss United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss United States of America is Miss World 1990. Woo! 